I'm making cinnamon raisin fry bread. It's a organic flour, sea salt, raisin, cinnamon, brown sugar, water, baking soda. And I just let it sit out overnight. Um, oh yeah, I put some yeast and beer in it. Um, I just let it sit overnight and we did this yesterday. We just squished it in the pan because we don't have a bread loaf pan. And just stuck it in the wood stove and it was really yummy. And today I just added the uh, raisins and cinnamon. Because it adds some sweetness. And that'll keep us full till like 2 o'clock. And then we'll probably eat like a big salad or something. And then like soup and meat for dinner. Got oil on the top and on the bottom. I just put some coconut oil in this stainless pan. Organic wheat flour is really good. I had a weird dream there were zombies in the mall and my mom was shopping there and I went there to tell her like to leave but they didn't like bother her but they tried to attack me instead so I like ran away and I didn't have my jeep or anything and I was just trying to like get back to the beach because there was like a beach there to hide from them it was weird they weren't fast zombies they were slow zombies that's not good it didn't help that we heard those footsteps outside the longhouse when we were laying down to go to sleep. Rush didn't seem to mind. He was just chilling. He's the door guardian. They come through the gate, they're mine. That's why he's got the spikes on his collar. The tough puppy. There was a 500 pound male black bear that was at the Grand River Fur Exchange in 2006. The bear escaped from its pen while it was being clean. It got out and some teenage girl let, opened a door to let her dog inside and the bear ran in the house and attacked the older woman. I don't know if it was her mom. The girl threw some meat at the bear to try to distract it. Somebody lured it out and shot it. Pretty crazy. Imagine that would f up your day. <laughs> here boy, here boy, come inside. It's for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> no, thank you. When we were getting ready to come out here, we stocked up on some batteries for our headlamps, which are primary, you know, light sources out in the woods. But I stopped at a sporting goods store and picked up two of these. A rechargeable flashlight. This has got a hand crank. It just pops out and rotates, charges the battery up. It's got two levels of light. There's a glow-in-the-dark ring on the outside, so you can find it in the dark. There is a siren that's really annoying if you accidentally hit it. And there's also a little radio, so you can tune in to what's going on in the area. It's dressed like a bag of potato chips or a box of girls. And you're beautiful. Organic bread with grass fed butter. I plotted out the garden yesterday and I started some seeds. These are nasturtiums, they're edible flowers and they need half sun and half shade. So they're like a little nut and you gotta like file them 
And I want to put those outside here because it gets half sun and half shade and we can eat these also and they're really pretty colors. This stuff was just loose. So I just threw it all together. I go, we'll see what sprouts. <laughs> just thinking we could take a hike over to the waterfall and then work on some projects. We need to build a bed and some shelves, maybe a rack. It's home improvement time. just found this on our hike earlier they're doing some logging in the forest and near perfect flat cut new table Slate rock from the creek. It's about a hundred pounds or so. Nice new table. <laughs> 